What's up guys, my name is Brandon and iOS 15 is just over a month away from being unveiled at WWDC 2021 and the leaks have been very limited this year. We haven't really seen near as many leaks as we had for iOS 14 last year, but today we finally have some legit trustworthy news about what we can expect to see in iOS and iPadOS 15 and man, I am excited. And if you have an iPad, you're going to be very excited to hear about, quote, the most significant update to the device's home screen since first launching the product in 2010. So as we know, Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference takes place in early June every year. And for 2021, it goes from June 7th through June 11th. And this, of course, is where Apple showcases all of their latest software for the iPhone, the iPad, the Mac, the Apple TV, the Apple Watch, and potentially maybe AR, VR glasses or something new this year. So on the first day of the conference, we get the first beta for every device. So that means that iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 beta 1 will be on our devices if you are a registered developer on June 7th. And as usual, I will be going live during this event here on my channel and covering what's new in the software during that live stream. But anyways, today we have even more pieces to the puzzle that is iOS 15. So we know that the release date for the first beta is again on June 7th. And now we have some credible information about what could be changed in this next major iOS and iPadOS update. So this fresh news comes from a report from Mark Gurman at Bloomberg, who published a piece today titled Apple Plans Notifications, iPad Home Screen Upgrades for iOS 15. And in this report, we hear about numerous features that Apple has planned for iOS 15. And the first one that's mentioned is about notifications and how iOS 15 will let you customize and pretty much have more control over how you see and receive notifications on your iPhone. So they say that this feature will quote, allow users to set different notification preferences, such as if the phone makes a sound or not, depending on their current status. The enhancement will come in the form of a new menu that lets users select if they are driving, working, sleeping, or custom categories of their choosing. The menu will be shown on the updated lock screen and in control center. So basically, instead of having a do not disturb, like a master toggle for do not disturb, Apple is going to be giving us options to basically have like a do not disturb for specific situations or statuses, as it's mentioned in this article. So maybe like if you don't want your, if you do want notifications, but you don't want sounds, if you're driving, you can do that. Or like if you only want sounds and no notifications, like you don't want the badge or something like that, you could set that for like when you're sleeping. I don't know. There's just different categories, like different customization options. It seems like that you can do for notifications in iOS 15 based on the status of what you're doing. Now, it seems like it would be kind of annoying to have to manually select, like if you're sleeping, if you're driving, if you're you know, working. So maybe there's a way that it auto does that or based on a time frame, something like that. We'll have to wait and see, but it does seem promising that Apple is really going to focus on notifications and basically you'll be able to fully customize how you receive and see notifications on your phone. And it does also mention a new lock screen. So it seems like you will be able to customize this from the lock screen and also from the control center. I'm not sure if it's going to be a toggle. Maybe it replaces the do not disturb logo right there. Maybe it's right below that. Maybe it's a toggle down here with where the flashlight and everything is on the lock screen. I'm not sure where it could be. I mean, it could just be when you pull up and go to the notification center right here. Maybe this is where there's a little menu and you could press right there, or maybe it replaces one of these toggles down on the bottom. It's hard to say, but it does mention that there will be, you know, a menu on the lock screen and in the control center to change your notification settings. Next, we hear that Apple is once again trying to improve iMessage to better compete with applications like WhatsApp. So we aren't given any specifics on this, but with iOS 14, we did get a lot of major changes to iMessage. So hopefully that continues this year with iOS 15. So Apple is reportedly trying to make iMessage more of a social network. So we'll kind of see what they mean by that in due time. But this report does indicate that it's still early in development and might not be updated until later this year. So basically the messages features probably aren't going to be there in 15.0. They'll probably be like in a point release later this year. Now we have seen leaked documents and patents filed by Apple over the past two to three years that could indicate what they're planning to add here in iOS 15. And we talked about these before, you know, for iOS 14 leaks and rumors because they were, you know, kind of leaked ahead of iOS 14. So a lot of people thought 
that the features leaked, such as like disappearing messages, such as being able to unsend messages for both parties. So like if you send a message, you can unsend it so that you or the other person can't see it anymore. The ability to edit messages. There are a lot of things Apple has filed patents for, and we saw those in documents as well back in, I believe 2019 or early 2020. So those could be coming in iOS 15. So disappearing messages is one thing that did actually just recently get added to WhatsApp. So that could be something that iMessage is going to follow as well. So hopefully we get all those features, but it's hard to say right now because this report doesn't really shed light on specifics when it comes to the messages application and iMessage. We also hear about additional privacy features being added in iOS 15. So with iOS 14.5, we got the app tracking transparency feature. If we go to privacy and tracking, you can allow apps to request to track you or you can deny the request to track you. So it seems like Apple is going to be building on this and they plan to add a feature that will show us exactly what data apps are collecting from us. So I'm guessing that this is going to be very similar to what we saw in the app store with the privacy labels. So if we go to like an application, let's just go to Snapchat, for example, and then scroll down, you can see we have these privacy labels right here that shows exactly what is being taken from you right there. So I'm guessing it's going to be very similar to this and it could be on the lock screen as well. And then finally, one of the biggest changes coming in iOS 15, perhaps the biggest change in iOS 15 is going to be on the iPad with iPad OS 15. So German reports that the iPad will finally be getting a redesigned home screen that will allow us to add widgets anywhere onto the home screen. So right now, obviously we only have this section over here on the iPad to add widgets to. We cannot add widgets to the actual home screen. As you can see, we don't have the plus up there like we do on the iPhone, but iPad OS 15 gears to change that and we will be able to add widgets to the home screen. And he also reports that we will be able to have like a screen full of just widgets. So there's no mention of an app library because of course we do not have the app library here on iPad OS, but iPad OS 15, it seems like it would make sense to have the app library there as well, especially if we can have a full page of just widgets. That tells me that you should be able to hide applications as well, like you can on iOS and just send them over to the app library. So I would expect the app library to come to iPad OS 15 as well. So definitely some nice changes coming to iPad OS 15. That's something that a lot of people were really upset was not in iPad OS 14. So hopefully we do see that and a lot more for the iPad. And then the report closes by mentioning that Mac OS, watch OS and TV OS will be more minor updates this year, as opposed to like complete redesigns or major changes like Mac OS Big Sur was. So yeah, guys, there you have it. That is the first real credible report about iOS and iPad OS 15. Apple has really been keeping the leaks under wraps this time around. And honestly, it's more fun that way. Now, I'm sure that we will get more leaks and rumors leading up to the Worldwide Developers Conference on June 7th, but I like being surprised instead of having every feature leak beforehand. So I hope we don't get too much, but I am expecting to make more videos on iOS 15 leaks and rumors because I'm sure they will start coming out very, very soon. But then again, you guys know that I cover a ton of features that Apple doesn't even talk about during the event. So you know to keep it locked to this channel when beta one gets released to see all of the new features and changes in the update. I will also be going over, you know, all the changes live, like immediately when it gets released as well, before anybody else has a chance to publish you know changes in ios 15 so hopefully you guys are there for that live stream but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up also leave a comment down below with what you're expecting in ios and ipad os 15 are you excited for these new features in this report are you hoping for more let me know your thoughts down there in those comments below and of course make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the ios 15 coverage coming to the channel but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon